Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 13th and 14th question from CBC Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section A that is multiple choice questions where each question is of one mark. Now this question is from the coordinates geometry chapter. The distance between the points 0, 2 root 5 and minus 2 root 5, 0 is. So here we have to find out the distance between these two given points. And for that, we are going to make use of the distance formula, which is square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. Now, let me consider the coordinates of first point as x1 and y1 and the second coordinate as x2 and y2. Now, let us substitute the values of x1, y1 and x2 and y2 in the given formula. So, we have so 0 minus of minus 2 root 5 the whole square plus 2 root 5 minus 0 the whole square. Now minus of minus we get plus, so plus 2 root 5 the whole square, plus 2 root 5 the whole square. Now here we are going to square the 2 as well as the square root of 5, so we get 2 square is 4 and square root of 5 squared is 5, so 4 times 5 gives us 20 and the same thing repeats over here. So we are going to get here 20 plus 20 that is square root of 40. So let us just do a little simplification over here. I can split up the root of 40 as square root of 4 times 10 and square root of 4 is 2 and we have the square root of 10 because 10 is not a perfect square it stays inside the square root so we get the answer as 2 root 10 units so this is the answer for the distance formula we used so let us check if it is in the options here so here our answer is going to be a that is 2 root 10 units now let us move on to the 14th question. Now the 14th question is from the polynomials chapter. Which of the following is a quadratic polynomial having zeros minus 2 over 3 and 2 over 3? So you can see there are four options given. Now let us begin by writing the general formula for the quadratic polynomial first. So the equation of quadratic polynomial is given as x square minus sum of zeros times x plus product of zeros. And here we can see that there are two zeros given, that is minus 2 over 3 and 2 over 3. So let us begin by finding the sum of zeros and product of zeros. So the sum of zeros is given by alpha plus beta. So let us consider that minus 2 over 3 is alpha and plus 2 over 3 is beta. So adding these two, so let me write here minus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3. So you can see these are two same numbers but with opposite signs. So they will add up to 0. Similarly, the product of zeros is alpha times beta. So we are going to write here minus 2 over 3 times positive 2 over 3. So here the numerators will multiply together. So minus 2 times 2 gives us minus 4. Over 3 times 3 gives us 9. Which means we have got the sum of zeros as 0 and product of zeros as negative 4 over 9. So here substituting the value of sum of zeros as 0, we get x square minus sum of zeros is 0, so 0 times x plus product of zeros. Since we have here negative 4 over 9, we are going to put here negative 4 over 9. Now simplifying this, we get the equation of the quadratic polynomial as x square minus 4 over 9. Now let us see which of these given options gives us x square minus 4 over 9. So starting with the first one, here the first expression is 4x square minus 9. So let me try to divide both the terms by 4 because it is the coefficient of x square. So we get here 4x square over 4 minus 9 over 4. So 4 from the numerator divides the 4 from the denominator. So we are going to get here x square minus 9 over 4. But we need the expression x square minus 4 over 9, which means this is not the quadratic polynomial we are looking for. Let us look at the next one. The second one clearly cannot be our answer because we are looking for a negative term in between. And here there is a positive sign. So we can discard the b. Similarly, in the option c, it is x square plus 9 over 4. But our quadratic polynomial should be x square minus 4 over 9. So we can directly discard the option c. Now let us look at the last option. Here let us expand the brackets. So 5 multiplies with 9, we get it as 45 x square minus. Now 5 multiplies with 4. So we get it as minus 20. Now doing the same step as we did for the previous one, we are going to divide both the terms by 45 as it is the coefficient of x square. 
So here we are going to get 45 x square over 45 minus 20 over 45. Now here 45 from the numerator divides the 45 from the denominator and 20 and 45 go in the table of 5. That is 5 4 times is 20 and 5 9 times is 45. So we are left with the answer x square minus 4 over 9. So this is the option or this is the expression which completely matches with the quadratic polynomial we got over here. So our answer for this given question is option D. I hope you understood all the steps and liked the video. Now you can check out more videos on CBSE additional practice questions over here set 1 and set 2. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.